Yeah, so we're going to go to Hitchin and we're going to go to Venture Caravans. Say Hitchin, I'm not quite sure whether it was in Hitchin or Lecture. It was in Hitchin, wasn't it? Yeah, just about, I think. Yeah, just inside. Well, school's at the Hitchin branch, so. Yeah, so. It must so we've got be. another one, haven't we, in Davenshire? Yeah. So you said they're a Bailey and Auto Sleeper dealer now? I think, well, they're also Adria. Oh, wow. It says on, on um, the Daventry page anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Because we have bought our Bailey from uh, from Venture Cat. Well, it wasn't called Hitch, uh, it called Hitching Caravans then, wasn't it? Move over a little bit more. This is the way that Sanderson's sat nag nearly bought her, wasn't it? Yeah. It always seems strange when we uh, come back Beware. here. Watch your speed. Yeah, all right. Yeah, a number of times we must have walked across that crossing and yeah. gone down to Willen. Yeah, but it's ten years ago nearly. Yeah, I know. It's the garage where I got my card cloned. <laughs> Happy memories. Happy days. Yeah, so turn left here towards Hitchin. Watch your speed. Nice to have Mr. Satnag back, isn't it? Mr. Satnag, yeah. Yeah. Beware. Beware. He just needed rebooting, didn't he? he needed something. Beware. Watch your speed. Hot Top Sales event. Our friend, Hot Top friend is still going there. Is that him then? Yeah. Yeah. Still in the same place, aren't they? Yeah. Amazing view of Hitchin. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly in the same place, isn't it? Sign there for choose choose a new approach. <laughs> It'd be a bit difficult to choose an approach, wouldn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a bit strange coming back here, isn't it? And uh, it's where we picked up our Bailey and used to get it serviced over there. All the vans here are all locked up, so we're wanting to find someone to perhaps have a look in a couple. There's a couple we might have a look at. There was a 70, uh, Madamo 75.4i over there, but obviously we've been on a tour in one of those. I wouldn't mind having a look at this Burford here. Oh. And the Broadway here. Yeah, so let's have a look at this auto sleeper Burford. And they've unlocked it for us. This is, uh, I think it's new, isn't it? It's brand it's new. It's brand new, yeah. 97,995. He was just telling us it's going up again next year. So if anyone's interested, obviously, in this, Probably best to pop down here and put your money on the table. It's going to have another 9,000 added to it, probably. Do you say 106,000? Yeah. Quite incredible. Yeah, obviously, you can tell it's got quite a big fridge here. It's Truma heating and whale barbecue and a whale electric point there. So under seat locker. Got these uh, different lights, rear view camera, back rack fittings. I'm not quite sure about the, the back of these, aren't I? You said that before, haven't I you? Know, the new I Evo know. that you're not sure. Love it or hate it, I think. And I just said, well, you don't normally look at the back, no, do you? No, that's right. <laughs> not some, with an auto sleeve, you're not really worried about what's in the back. And there's your toilet there, so the... Oh, OK. Washroom's on the corner there. Alloy wheels, of course. Here we get on the whale. Something points, I can't think what they are. Well, that's a sat TV. I imagine that's a filling point, I'm not sure. 
that's certainly the electrical point yeah water point and refillable gas which depending on what you're thinking may or may not be an issue as long as you can find somewhere to fill it I can't, unfortunately can't take Poppy in no so you, will you stay to... here Pops be a good girl let's have a look inside oh yeah these are very special motos yeah, I mean, yes, it should be for the price, but look at the upholstery here. Real luxury it's look, isn't it? It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It's not a particularly dark wood, but it's sort of, I don't know, what colour would you call it? Difficult possibly to see with the sun coming in. But it's relatively light, but it does really sort of match this fawn sort of colour, colour rather. Little lockers here. Really nice lights. Not a particularly huge sunroof, but that doesn't bother me. Nice shelf there. I, mean, I suppose you could put lots of things on whilst you're not moving. The fabulous cab here. It's a great big sort of middle section here. All, all, all automatic. Nothing to get in your way on the floor. Got these bins on it, cup holders everywhere, all the steering wheel controls. It's fabulous, you know, it really is. Yeah, I know. It's got everything with it, hasn't it? Even yeah, you don't have to. Air con. Yeah, air conditioner. You know, just spotted that, have you? Yeah, yeah. well, because I'm standing here looking up already, at it. Already fitted, so things like air conditioning. I'll have an extractor fan above the cooker which is a fully full oven and grill Thetford unit. And a sink, these drawers, is that, yeah, cutlery drawer there. And another drawer there, loads of cupboards underneath. What's that? What's that, what? Does that pull out, that at the top? What at the top? Above, above the, not above there, Oh, above this, there. yeah. Yeah, you spotted it because you're down there. Yeah, that's right. The advantage is <laughs> to being down here. <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 in our kitchen, there's a bit sticks out here, so you can't really sort of get round it. But that is a beautiful solution, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hey? A bit of extra chopping space, preparation space. They seem a bit oh, set in their ways, don't they? But uh, if it works... I wonder if all these glasses and everything come with they it. They all come with it, don't they? Well, then the other one, it seemed like they were plates and things. Well, the there's, there's a set of plates in here. So I don't know if that comes with it. Maybe that's complimentary. A microwave at a reasonable height. Well, for me, anyway. It's got a fridge freezer, a separate freezer compartment. Um, door opens only one way, thankfully. <laughs> I've been using the uh, as opening the other way Have though you? recently. Oh, yeah. A table's on a slide-out compartment isn't that a good idea? Mm. <laughs> yeah. You got your TV point here, so I assume your TV would go up there, and your controls up here. We've got uh, hooks there. Yeah. And the awning pole. Oh, awning pole. Neatly in there. Yeah. So it's thoughtful. Fly. It's thoughtful yeah. that they've mounted that, isn't it? A lot yeah. of manufacturers don't even think to do that. Well, it looks quite a sturdy bin. <laughs> well, compared with some of them. It's that a still a bit small. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart in your hand. Yeah. I've got an umbrella on the door, is it? Is it, or is no, it? No, that's not, that's auto trail. Oh, it's auto, of course it is, sorry. <laughs> oh, idiot. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. No, I'm liking this a lot. What I'm probably not so keen on is the bed, but actually, you know what? That doesn't look too bad. I was going to moan about the cutoff. 
but hmm. Some of them have a really sharp cut off, and that's not so bad. Obviously, you could have your telly in here as well. There's a little shelf going along there. Covers at the back. Lovely big skylight. Got uh, more cupboards with windows on them. Vanity unit. Looks like quite a big wardrobe here. Yeah, that goes all the way around. Let's shut the curtain down. Yeah. Comes with a compact 4G router. Max view aerial. Already registered for the VIN scheme. That's super wardrobe. Absolutely super. The drawers. Have a look in the washroom. Right, toilet. And wash basin. We could find the, the light for this, possibly. Anyway, I can't see the light at the moment, so I hope you can see this. Big square shower unit. Got the bifold doors on it, it's got a vent on it, somewhere to put your soap. Oh, I do like this, really do. Got a roller shutter cupboard there. Sink's a little bit small, but that's not too bad. At least it's deep. You can get your face in it. See? Even things like, is that a hook? Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a hook or not. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit small, but I think it's okay. There's plenty of workable space, but that shower is great. It really is. No frosty glass on the window, but I have that closed most of the time. Huge window there. Obviously, you've got no window this side because you've got the thing yeah yeah I like this a lot you think, like this a lot yeah yeah I think you will yeah that's the under under bed storage it's absolutely huge it's not very tall but uh, yeah It does open both ways. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. It's just that they it's all the same colour. Right. Oh, this cooker. Yeah. Wow. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. What the seats like? I did find the actual seat over there a little bit long. Long? Yeah. What do you mean long? You mean in the... In the... The length. Sitting where your legs... Yeah, where your legs sit. Well, why would that be a problem then? Mm. You see, my feet are actually <laughs> off the ground there, aren't they? So if it, to get my feet on the ground, I have to sit have to further forward, forward and yeah. then it's not so nice. No. That one seems longer, actually, in the seat area than oh, this one. Okay. Okay, we presume they pull together to form another bed. Yeah, they, we've yeah? got the bed thing yeah. there. Is it pull nice. fully put back the legs on that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And sometimes the cushions are not in place, are they? Don't let that put you off, though. No, no. <laughs> well, it wouldn't put you. It wouldn't matter to you. They've got these lights, haven't they, that you can move along? Yeah, you can move on the track, can't you? It's true, Mallow. It's not. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it heats up nice and quick. Mind you, I think we're finding a lot of vans now, Truma, aren't they? Seem to be, don't they? They'll go and look in the bedroom, the bathroom. Okay. All right, do you want to take the camera with you? No? Have you been in there, haven't I've you? I've been in there, yeah. 
That's amazing. Did you see the uh, Wi-Fi router in the yeah. wardrobe? Yeah. Yeah, no, fabulous van. Yeah. Love the bath, the washroom yeah. at the back. Yeah. Clunk. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You've got a locker here, haven't you? A wet locker, I assume. Yeah, wet is. locker, yeah. Yeah. It's quite high. It's on a chassis cab, isn't it? Yeah, Chass so I don't know what you'd make of that. Just steps higher right up there. for you, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. How long is it? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, four berth, delivery mileage, diesel, four, two point nine i, uh, external length seven point nine two. So it's on a four thousand five hundred and fifty kilogram. Mass in running order, MTPLM 4100, so it's a C1 licensed van. Yeah. Very imposing front on them, aren't they? Yeah, I'm saying it is. Yeah, but yeah, very nice. And the other one we wanted to have a quick look at was the Auto Sleeper Broadford, which is on a Peugeot. Bro Broadway, what did you say? Broadford, you said it's Broadway. Broadway, what did I say? Oh, Broadford. So, so the other van <laughs> we want to want to have a look at is the Auto Sleeper Broadway. I want to say Broadford. Venture Motor Times. So There's two berth. Uh, it's uh, where is it? External length is 6.32 meters long, and it's on a 3,500 kilogram chassis. 82,995. Come on, Poppy. Come on. Under seat locker here, under sofa locker, water fill in, electric, gas barbecue point. Fridge is there, looks like it's a smaller fridge. <coughs> Same lights and fittings for the bike and reversing camera. Toilets at the back here. And 12 volt satellite TV point. Uh, water and refillable gas. Okay, let's have a look inside. So the doors at the back, quite high up that step. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Two substantial steps to get in. Does mean you're quite high up in these vans. You could look down on yeah, everyone. Yeah, that's right. Let's start at the back where the kitchen is. Little flappy thing there. Another flappy thing. And there's your cutlery drawers there. More storage at the back. This is the same sort of layout as our Starfire was. It's this layout in the Broadway is like a longer New Evo, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's things like this, isn't it, where they, they've added somewhere to put your kitchen towels and mm. got the um, extractor fan, and the cupboards there. It's got the new Truma panel by the looks of it. So, room climate, choose a mode, heating, ventilation, warm water, water is switched off. Okay, iNet app, settings. Turn off notifications. All looks a lot easier that panel than the the one with your twiddler thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, with a push button twisty thing. In practice, anyway, someone will have to let us know if they've got one of those. How they're getting on with it? Heard a few stories about it. Like it doesn't have a timer on it. I think someone said it doesn't have a timer. So sort of heating and ventilation. I don't see any sign of a timer. Oh. You know, so you couldn't time it to switch back on when you come back. Dometic, no, tr uh, no turntable. Microwave, excellent. Glasses are there. Quite a small fridge. Yeah, a tiny fridge com compared to the uh, Burford. I'm gonna have a look at the washroom there. Corner washroom with the swing wall. I'm going to stay. Yeah. Blimey, that's up on a thing, isn't it? 
That's what I thought. And just when you open the door. Yeah. The swing wall washroom. Looks a bit tight in there. Sorry? Looks a bit tight in there. Yeah. Little like Dracula's coffin. Of course, a bit tight getting in into there. Blimey. Not much of a gap to get into the shower. I'd probably have to get in first and then do the swing wall. I think that's what you used to have to do yeah. when we had one. Yeah, but it does give you quite a nice shower area. Because obviously it's got to come across as far as possible, isn't it? Yeah, and this. You this normally have a door panel, panel thing. Yeah, this panel comes across. Yeah, I think like you used to get in and then pull all that across. Yeah, but once you're in there, it's quite a big area. Mm. The toilet's a bit high. But... Well, the, yeah, the toilet is high, isn't it? Quite a surprise. Nice mirror there. And what's that there? Oh, it's a pull-out. Yeah, it's a pull-out hang, hanging thing. I won't do it, but that comes across to there, I think. That's good. And ventilation and lights. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Same cooker as the Burford. It's a wonderful cooker, though. Yeah, all shiny and. <laughs> yeah, especially it's not been used. Shiny and clean. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, blimey. These sofas are enormous. <laughs> enormous. Yeah, this is the reason for buying it, is this lounge. You're going to have four people sitting either side here. You could have a conference in here, Jane. So that, they're that long, are they? They're, they are that long, yeah. yeah. You, could, you sit four people on here. Enormous windows. Absolutely glorious view out of these windows. Well, obviously, depending on what view you're looking at, you're not just looking at a, a motome next to you. <laughs> but, yeah. Mm, very nice. Now, obviously, this is the main bed. So this would make a huge bed. I think they've done away with the idea of having it split. It's just one huge bed. Right. I, you'd probably end up just sleeping as a single on there. There's more than enough room there. Well, that's good then, because it still means one of you can go to bed, wouldn't it? Yeah, you? yeah. Well, it's just like having single beds, and you just get just the duvet. Just like us going in the bedroom, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, just get the duvet out, and probably as soon as your guests have gone, you get the duvets out and yeah. get the telly on. Glass of wine. Peugeot, Peugeot cab does mean there's no automatic option available on these, of course, because Peugeot don't do an automatic. Similar sort of front to them. And these wonderful lockers. No shortage of lockers. So you've got one, two, three, four along there, three this side. Yeah, only thing that puts me off this van is the rather tight washroom with a high up toilet and a tiny fridge. But yeah. In. Yeah, we so had. you're put off a little bit by this step, aren't you? But they all seem to be a bit like this. Mm, so they will be because they're higher up, aren't they? Yeah, go on then. Let's see you get up there. Try not to film your bum. <laughs> It's okay. Mm. Fantastic lounge, isn't it? It is. Because you've got another, you can put another table there, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. I think there is a pull out table somewhere in here, isn't there? On this side. There's a flap there. Yeah. And there's probably a table in the wardrobe. Yeah. So I haven't had a look in the wardrobe. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, there's the pole. Ooh. Got it? It's the little table and the pole. And then there's that table, which doesn't look as huge as the one we've got. No, no. It looks a reasonable well, size. Well, I suppose you could put two tables in there. No, but does no, that look? Oh, it's about the same size as ours. It's oh, just lost it? in right. that locker, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's your knick-knack straw. That's the man's drawer there. Yeah, you used to have 
That and the star fire, didn't you? Yeah. But then we had this fire thing down there. Yeah, well, that's got all the heating gubbins down there. It's already vin chipped. It's got a vin chip yeah. number in the yeah. thing there. Smoke alarm. I haven't seen any Wi Fi in here. No. The other, well, the other one had a router, didn't Let's have it? A look. Can't see anything. This is in another cupboard. I'm going to go open all the lockers till you find it. No, I don't no. see that. No. You've got USB here, as disappointingly only looks like one. Yeah. Then you've got... TV that. and... Yeah. It's a couple of yeah. plugs. Bobby's been very good down there. Yeah. So is that the only USB then, that, that one there? Know. Yeah, because these these are just lights. Yeah. Oh, hang on, there might be something over here. Yeah. That's another TV thing. Oh, is there? Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh yeah. Do you need another TV up there for? You definitely, if you want to charge anything, you need one of your grumpy power banks. Yeah. Because I was be fighting over one. Yeah. USB right. thing. Yeah. Oh, it's here. Found it. Oh. I was beginning to worry that Autosleep had forgot to put the Wi-Fi in there, but they haven't. That's OK. <laughs> <laughs> so now, which... A lot of them are coming with this ready, aren't they? Yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah. So which do you prefer? Well, obviously, that's wonderful. The Burford. The Burford, yeah. But, uh, it's, it's only 10,000 more. Well, yeah, but it, it, it's the length of it, isn't yeah, it? If yeah. We were thinking we might want to go a bit shorter. Yeah. How long's this? Six, nine, so just under seven metres. Yeah, so we'd be going down yeah. almost three quarters of a metre, wouldn't we? Yeah. But uh, you'd have to know this bed across here was, you could have it as a single, but when oh, we you... had this layout, we used to simply decide it's night time and pull the. Yeah. Yeah. Things together, didn't we? The TV was there. Yeah. I quite, I guess I quite like that. Yeah. But these are great for lounging, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, but there's no automatic on this. No. So that's your big that's disappointment. My, yeah, big disappointment. That major disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> so neither of these two. <laughs> one you can't afford either, and yeah. That's a great um, load of accessories in here. I always thought this was good. That's where we've got all our initial stuff. Yeah, it? that's right. We actually bought a TV. TV from here, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Got all the little gas cylinders here, the Coleman's. Didn't know Coleman's did one. The camping gas ones. Those refills for your little triple thing. She's still going strong, isn't it? So. We need some of them. Need some toilet rolls, so we'll get yeah. that. And all your toilet fluids. I have a feeling that's well, that's six pack. It's yeah. thinner than the usual one. Oh, is it? Do you want the, the double one then? Well, that's three ninety nine. And yeah, okay. I don't know. It just just seems a bit thinner, but okay. There's some Bailey autographs, weren't they? But they were all sold. Yeah. Obviously, there's no point in us looking at a Dalmo seventy five four I. No. Spent them three weeks in one. Yeah, quite a few used uh, vans there. Yeah, some used approaches, weren't there? Yeah. The trouble with a dealer like that where they're all locked up is you have to go and ask for them all to be unlocked. Mm. So, you know, even if you're just looking without wanting to film them, it just means that you've got to go keep asking. Yeah. No, I, like, I like those auto sleepers. Yeah. I can see myself sitting in that lounge in that Broadway. Yeah. Just with the bigger one, you know, the Burford. Yeah. It feels, because of the French bed and the wardrobe, when, when you shut the door on the the lounge and, yeah. the, and the bathroom, you feel like you're in a, like a big box. I don't know what it was, it was, whereas ours, it doesn't, I don't feel like that. Because of the closed layout. Yeah, it seems, it seems a really closed layout. Yeah. I think we're going back towards Bulldog, aren't we? Yeah. 
Is there any other place we could go? Is Willen, isn't it? Is where? Willen. Willen. Go to the Fox. Yeah, could go to the Fox if you want. Is it, we're, a bit, we're a bit early. We could just. Shush. We, we could have a bit of a walk, couldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll go down there if you want. Park there in the lane? Yeah, good day. Got a bit muddy down here. I've just seen that. <laughs> Walk in the arboretum or walk along the field. Yeah, it's a bit muddy. Yeah. Chucking it down, isn't it? Yeah. I think the arboretum might be all right. Oh, quite a big puddle there. I'll try not to park in it. Good. Now, there is the arboretum down there. You can walk through there. I think we might just have a little walk along the greenway if it's not too muddy. I do miss this greenway, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I used to cycle along it, so it's good. It goes all the way round Letchworth. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's just up here. goes all the way along there, past where we used to live. Yeah. And then carries on round the other side of Letchworth. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? All the way back round. It's something they, they put in 20, 20 years ago, so. Well, they started doing it, didn't they? I don't think they completely finished it when we moved. No. The trees start to come out in bud. Yeah. And it's so warm. It is warm now, isn't it? We were complaining about how cold it was. <laughs> then we're going to start, it's too hot. <laughs> I'm going to be, oh, it's too blooming hot now. <laughs> oh, it's great to be out here. A little spot for a sit down. There you go. How long are you going to let us sit down for? You can give it about 30 seconds. Seconds, yeah, that's your start. Yeah, about 30 seconds. <coughs> Shall we go to the pub? <coughs> She's a <laughs> Come bad on, idea, then. Poppy. Come on, folks, let's go to the pub. <coughs> <laughs> You decided what I'm eating yet? No, I haven't actually, because I haven't decided what I'm eating. But you might like the knocky or knocky. how you pronounce it. Herb knocky, yeah. Oh. All right there, you're behaving yourself. Good girl. Just realised what that picture is. Thought it was like a smudge on the wall. It's a fox. That's all it was. <laughs> well, I only, did, only saw the bottom part. It's obviously though one of those ones where they, dri um, they dribble the wet paint, isn't it? Yeah. Very clever. All right. I've got the knocky. I've got the fish pie. The fish pie. It looks good. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And an Adnams. 0.5% volume ghost ship. So uh, an almost alcohol free beer. Yeah. Mm. Probably stopped to have a drink. 
lovely pub, the Fox. It's quite expensive. The food is very good. The garden opens uh, for the uh, um, coronation. Yeah. 5th of May, I think it is, or 4th of May. But yeah, I love coming here. Yeah, I know. And obviously in the summer you can sit out on the benches there and have a beer. Yeah, it's nice in the evenings, isn't it? You just yeah. walk down. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's get Poppy in. All right, just to prove I've got some sun, I've got the EcoFlow solar panel, that 220 watt solar panel. Couldn't remember how to put the thing out, it's been so long. Got these funny sort of straps here. Doesn't look as though it's that safe. Yeah. Look what it's generating. Try not to stand in front of it. What's it say? Oh, 219 watts. Well, only takes seven hours. Oh, there you go. Actually got some sun. Yeah, so on tonight's menu in Bob's kitchen, a couple of burnt burnt potatoes and some nicely done sausages. <laughs> Didn't have any tin foil, that's why they're all burnt. Oh. That's my Kodak Trio power pack. Safari chef. Yeah, Bob's Kitchen does simple meals as well. Fortunately, Jenny cooked some tomatoes and mushrooms to go with it. Well, there's been a bit nothing really, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't look very exciting, do I? We need some t um, tin foil, eh? Stuck it, stuck it on the order. I have done here. Yeah. 